me on my burger. Christina Quarry. Happy 1998 to you. All right. All right. It's been a good year so far? It's been a great year. <laughs> You're a great one. Thank you. I'm a wreck. Well, we'll explain why in a minute. No. Tell what happened. You, you barely made it to the chair. I barely made it. We had a minute and a half, and I'm in the, the bedroom. I am passed out on the couch over there with Christina trying to fix me up. We, uh, Candace, my and I were hypnotized this morning, and, I, you know, I go out like that. <laughs> Candace is giggling. I want to choke her, but I can't lift my arm. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go like this. I guess it was. Stop. Albert, here. He works for major corporations and does market research, but not the traditional way he does it through hypnosis. And I don't know what he was researching. What are you research? What I know. Welcome to the show. Thank you. What were you trying to get at this morning? Well, we're going to do that a little bit later, and okay. then uh, I want it to be a surprise for you. A surprise. Right. <laughs> so he put us in a hypnotic state. It took him about a half an hour to do to do all this. Mike and I, who are so zen anyway, went out on it. It took us like a few minutes. Candace took her a little while longer, but boy, once you went, you went like a. Uh, How long have you been doing this, Hal? Uh, about 25 years. Wow. And I have a company called Qualitative and Quantitative Research uh, in Irvine, California, and I do this for companies and ad agencies uh, that want to find out more about uh, what consumers uh, want. And people should understand, it is not a, it's not a parlor game. You're doing this in the name of research, and it's, exactly. it's a legit, legitimate deal. Absolutely. Yeah. I am so relaxed. I have all the punch and fire knocked out of me. Do you like me this way? I like you anyway. That's like I have, <laughs> so, I have no energy to do it. I'm so... Relax. So do you want me to sort of run with it? You have to... Is it more about me today than you? Oh, never. It's always about See, me. See, there comes the punch. <laughs> the punch is back. back. <laughs> Even when it's... Uh, no, but I, I guess, you know, he, he, he had a nerve. It was, we talked about, you know, last Thanksgiving, and yeah. he had a nerve and you know, brought back up... But you are always on the precipice of emotions. <laughs> so you, you know... Yeah, you but I'm precipitistic. <laughs> Stay tuned later in the show when all three of them go under. And I think we're very clear they weren't going to make us bark. Oh, and yes, you're not going to do anything you don't want to do. Nothing bad is going to happen to you. But in the name of research, am I right? In the name of research, we're going to find out really what they like. Absolutely. What I like? I like a lot of things. We like this guy, don't we? The firemen, we had a couple of Like it? it feels like it was yesterday. Yeah, yeah. But those guys, I still remember them. They were so hot, they should be firemen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they start fired. They start fired. They start a fire. Uh, well, I walked into the house that morning and I'm surrounded by all these guys and I said, Burn this mother down. <laughs> I was like, Let it go. We can, right? Is it just the hypnotist? No, uh, fire. Former fireman and a man who can put out any fire. Wink Martindale is back there. Hi, Sandy. Hello, Wayne. Hi, guys. Hi. Welcome back. Thank you very much. It's nice to be here. You were never a fireman, but I know you started way back in the early days, not early days of radio, but in the uh, 50s and 60s, you were a traditional radio jock. I can't get into my, that into my mind. I'm still thinking about your statement, precipice of emotion. Yeah. I love good. that. Well, I was, yeah, I started in radio uh, right out of high school when I was in my hometown, Jackson, Tennessee. And I've give been me a school. little. I, give me what it used to sound like, the early days of oh, radio. Oh, top 40 radio. Yeah. yeah. Well, here in Los Angeles, I was at KFWB. I was the early morning man, and you had to be able to talk fast. You had 120,000 commercials in an hour, <laughs> you know, plus your records and all of that. And so I would say something like, uh, Hello, everybody. It's Wink Martindale. I'm your guy who's fastest with a wax at It's 14 minutes after 9 o'clock. It's 43 degrees, and here's, here's so fine, but it's your fun. <laughs> wow. Or something like that. It's what people try to do. That's the voice they try to do, and you, you did it. Yeah, I still do radio, as a matter of fact. Every day I do a, a three-hour radio show called The Music of Your Life. It's satellited around the country. Gary Owens does three hours. I do three hours. And it's the music I know something about, 40s, 50s, 60s, or that other stuff that they're doing today. I have no idea. No idea. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> but it, it's really fun. So, Wink, what do you think of the Spice Girls? Who? Oh, sorry. <laughs> See what I mean? I bet that's a question that comes up on deck, though, is it not? Oh, yeah. I, uh, I really have gotten to know more about current popular music than I really care to know because there's, it's all pop culture on deck. Right. And um, I've been hearing a lot about it. Lifetime? Yeah, on Lifetime every night, 6.30. Thank you very much for the book. You got Ooh. it. Yeah. And we're going to play today? Yes. Cool. Okay. I brought some very difficult questions along for my very, very 
it's great. I love it's that game. It's a great game. So much it fun. Thank you. Thank you. We have a lot of fun with it. Cool. I'll oh, we'll play a little bit. What? I know. You're out of it. I know. Turn around. Mambo like candy. I don't know, but you're just you're you're just uh, a shade behind, aren't you? Do you want to take a nap? No. Do you want to lie down? I am so. Relax. I'm fine. No, I'm fine.
many would you say I performed every year, Dawson? On the average of 650,000 a year. Are they, like, half of them are maybe unnecessary? Oh, more, more than, than half. half. Really? Probably of that 650, maybe 15 to 20 percent are for malignant disease or cancer. So there's a good 75 to 80 percent of them are done for non-malignant, benign diseases. And why do they do it? Why, why are 80 percent... No. We'll, we'll talk about that. It's we'll a talk about it's a woman's issue. It's a big it's a big woman's issue, but I think now in the in the late eighties, nineties it's becoming a, a woman's issue more and more. Right. Women are are asking more questions as to why and we're we're trying to turn it around. So sure. there's uh you'll see the And they're alternative do it. And you have alternative ways too. Yes, alternative we methods. Yes, we do. Well, okay. Are you ready? Cool. Well, play. well we're gonna play dead. Oh. Gotta be sharp, gotta be on it, gotta be with it. Are you with me? I'm gonna be there. <laughs> <laughs> Wake Martindale is next. We'll play a little dead. We'll play here.